Okay, uh, to start with, I would like to show a short video which is taken by our student. Okay. Hi there! If you are wondering what NUS Environmental Engineering is all about, my friends and I are here to give you a sneak peek. At NUS, you'll be solving everyday problems with innovative solutions. I'm turning organic waste into reusable materials for one of my projects. By reusing sugarcane fibres? Exactly. And I got all these from the canteen. That's pretty clever. Well, it's also the technology that makes all this possible. We have access to cutting-edge tools that allow us to tackle pressing environmental problems, such as air and water pollution. What I like about these tools is that they are used in a workplace as well. So, this gives us a head start. Speaking of the workplace, let's go and find Nicholas. Environmental engineering is a fast-growing field with many opportunities, right Nick? For sure. Our whole curriculum is industry-oriented. We will focus on sustainability and public health protection. We also get to use these skills in the real world through industrial attachments, for example, to develop renewable energy. And the best part about EV is that it's not all about studying. You get to build connections with a closely-knit group of friends. That's a great point. School is way more fun with you guys around. And if you share the same passion as us, we know you will love it here. All you have to do is go to our website and sign up now. Okay, I hope you enjoy the very interesting projects and their industry attachment experiences of our students through this video. So following that, I'm going to actually give you some uh, introduction about uh, um, environment engineering. So what is environment engineering? Environment engineering focus on exploring scientific principles and translating them to protect the human and to protect our valuable ecosystems from the impacts of adverse environmental issues, such as energy shortage, water, air pollution, and climate change. Environment engineering also improves environmental quality. So you may wonder what environment engineers do. Environment engineers develop innovative solutions and technologies to manage our natural resources and improve health of the living systems and the environmental quality in a sustainable and cost-efficient manner. So talk about environmental engineering uh, projects in our local society. I would like to showcase to you the mega projects like Marina Barrage and New Water. So why should you consider environment engineering? Okay, uh, Singapore Green Plan 2030 was launched February 2021. So this is a whole nation's movement towards sustainability. A few government agencies charted this uh, Singapore Green Plan 2030 to uh, come out uh, the coming 10 years uh, uh, working plan, the targets for the whole nation's uh, sustainable development. So underneath this, plan, uh, underneath this plan, you are able to see that the existing technologies for environmental protection need to be enhanced, need to be improved. New technologies need to be actually developed to uh, uh, you know, achieve the sustainability goal. And uh, more and more stringent policies and po uh, regulations need to be in place, need to be implemented you know, along the time. So there are many opportunities for creating green solutions emphasized by the government. There are also lifetime, lifelong opportunities for environmental specialists even beyond 2030. So let me give you some idea about environment engineering program at NUS. I'm going to highlight the key features of our environmental engineering program. First of all, the QS World University ranking. Uh, it ranks NUS environmental science number 10 in the world in year 2022. Students enrolled into our program has very rich experiential learning, authentic learning, and active interaction uh, experiences with our faculty member, with our alumni, and with our industrial collaborators. And we have a number of uh, winning, uh, this award-winning and highly experienced exper uh, educators who can actually share their passion and share the knowledge and to train our students to be uh, ready for the, you know, uh, their job market. In 2021, our graduate employment rate reached 97%. And what's more, after graduation, 
our graduates, after practicing in the field for a couple of years, they can go for professional registration. For example, they can register for a chartered engineer, which will further advance their career development. Okay, I'd like to give you some idea about our curriculum. So our curriculum consists of uh, university and faculty common modules, engineering common courses, and uh, environment engineering major courses, as well as uh, unrestricted electives. All of those uh, uh, you know, courses under our curriculum will train our students, uh, graduates become future ready, and make them to be well prepared for industry 4.0. And this curriculum also allow them to have multidisciplinary training, which make them more uh, adaptable to the ever-changing employment market. So underneath this particular uh, you know, curriculum, you are able to see the element like a sustainable future, artificial uh, intelligence, and industry attachment. All of those actually make our student to be uh, future ready. Our environment engineering major courses uh, well train our student uh, for, for the, for the you know, sustainable development. And unrestricted electives prepare our student to be a, a multidisciplinary training. So I'm going to actually later on elaborate more in terms of the multidisciplinary training. So underneath our curriculum, we cover domain areas, for example, climate change, resource management, circular economy, air quality management, alternative energy resources, water quality enhancement, environmental sustainability, water reclamation and reuse. So all of those are domain areas train our students in the environmental engineering, management, and science field, and prepare them to go into various directions of sustainability. They can also opt for this uh, specialization in digitalization in urban infrastructure, which is a, a, a program offered by CE department. So with this uh, specialization in digitalization, they are able to actually integrate the digitalization into environment engineering, which allow them to protect our environment in a better way. So let me actually elaborate in terms of a multidisciplinary training using the unrestricted electives. So students can uh, uh, read common curriculums. After that, they choose what to stack with their uh, environment engineering major. For example, if they go ahead with a, a minor in public health, they are able to prepare themselves in a career in environmental public health. If they go and pair with a second major in sustainable urban development, they are able to find a career in environment and sustainability consultancy. They can also pair with a, a minor in data engineering, as well as uh, just now the specialization uh, in digitalization in urban infrastructure. So they will find themselves in the domain of uh, smart urban environment engineering. So they also can pair with a, a second major in the management so that they can go into environment management field. They also can actually uh, look into uh, the options to pair with a minor in economics so that they are able to go into environmental business. So now I'm going to share with you, you know, our students' uh, life uh, in the, uh, this uh, environment engineering program starting from their junior years to all the way to the senior years. So when the students come into our program, uh, they will experience a uh, freshman orientation camp. They have uh, a number of the coursework field trips. Okay, uh, they also can participate in international coastal cleanup campaign, and they also have many chances to dialogue with our alumni. In the year one especially, they can actually uh, you know, uh, do something by, uh, by, by actually having a lot of a field trip and laboratory analysis, on-site monitoring, sampling, project uh, planning and demonstration of their projects in a module called Engineering Principles and Practices. So in a way, they are learning by doing. This is a lot of like a, uh, you know, kind of like a fun activities, interesting activities by hands-on projects when they are at their year one. Okay, in their year three, uh, students have a lot of hands-on real life experiences. Uh, for example, they can join EZAC, which is our student club to go overseas to participate in this uh, oceanus project at VLAN. So what they do, they make use of innovative membrane technology to uh, produce high quality drinking water uh, to help the local villagers to improve their uh, living standard. They also can uh, uh, choose an elective okay, to uh, conduct a sustainability project 
at Indonesia. This elective is going to be led by one of our lecturers. So uh, students get a chance to design, to construct, to build, to operate a low cost and eco-friendly uh, wastewater treatment technologies uh, for the local community so that we are able to actually uh, protect their ecosystem in a better way. Come to year three, students also have uh, many opportunities to go for global exchange uh, you know, program or student exchange program. So through this kind of program, our students view that you know, uh, the program widen their horizon, make them confident, make them courageous, make them advent, uh, adventurous. And they get to know interesting topics such as nuclear power plants, river restoration, problems faced in water resource management due to climate change, as well as uh, renewable energy. Come to their uh, final year, they have also opportunities to go overseas for some of the interesting training program. For example, um, Zhi Wei uh, was our final year student then. Uh, he represented NUS you know, in the Future Sustainability Leader Program in 2020 uh, in this Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, which is in 2020. And another final year student, Jun Wei, okay, he represented Singapore to participate in this Water Environment Federation Student Design Competition in 2018. And together with his team member, he won the Design Competition Award and attended WEF uh, uh, Tech Conference in 2018 in USA, which is the biggest water professional conferences in the world. All right, and uh, come to their final year, also our students uh, participate innovation programs as well. Okay, Ko Chung, as uh, uh, our final year student then, together with uh, NUS alumni, they made use of the waste uh, plastic bottles for water purification and food supply through a zero waste testbed initiative. And this was showcased by today's newspaper in uh, uh, 2022. And uh, Sophia, together with her team member, they are all ES EVE final year students. They form a green doctor program. So what do they do? They recover alum, uh, aluminum and the plastic uh, polymers uh, through this um, medical blister, waste, uh, waste packaging material. And uh, this activity has been showcased by Street's Time uh, in 2022. And together with her team member, they won the projects in Youth Pharmacist Chapter Sandbox Competition in 2022. All right, for students enrolled into our program, they can uh, apply for scholarship and awards. For example, they can apply for National Environment and Water Scholarship. They can also apply scholarships offered by Building and Construction Authority. And uh, they can also apply engineering scholar program and a US scholarship. And what's more, CE department give awards to the shortlisted incoming environmental engineering students. All right, in terms of the career prospects, the graduates from environmental engineering program can opt for career in the following field. For example, uh, policymakers, environmental specialists, uh, tech new partnership and engineering leaders in local and established multinational companies and government authorities. So they practice both in the pr uh, public and the private sectors. In public sectors, okay, uh, they uh, can join uh, BCA, uh, NEA, uh, uh, MEWR, PUB, and URA. In the private company, okay, they join consultancy company like uh, AECOM, Arab and they join the engineering company like Capo and Samco and many others. So what do they do uh, in the different sectors? Okay, for students joining the government related agencies, okay, they uh, conduct research, they conduct planning, uh, they manage the environmental safety. For students joining the consultancy and other firms, okay, they carry out activities in the green finance, Okay, they, uh, they work as an environmental consultant and they, uh, they work as an environmental manager. Okay, some of them also promote this entrepreneurship through the social entrepreneurship and technical uh, partnership. Right, so uh, in last year, right, uh, during the Skill Future Singapore Conference, the Minister of uh, Ministry of uh, Education identified green economy, economy as one of the future economy. And he further identified those priority skills in green economy. For example, green process design, carbon footprint, 
management, sustainability management, and so on. All of those has been well covered by the environmental engineering program. So it is believed that you know, our program's training is able to prepare our students to be well pre uh, prepared for the upcoming green economy. So how our alumni and employer view about our program. So Lan Yang is our class of 2016. She further read a PhD degree from our program and she got her PhD degree in 2020. So now she's assistant professor in Xi'an Jiao Tong University, China. So she view NUS is well recognized in Asia and environmental engineering at NUS equipped her with the skills and knowledge to solve technical challenges with creative uh, solutions. Xin Hui was our ESAC uh, ex-president and currently she's working as environmental consultant at DHI, a very famous international consulting company. And she viewed that environmental engineering can make her understand the science behind our environment as well as uh, design solutions with today's technology. So now she happily apply model simulation engineering and environmental impact assessment in her daily consultancy work. In terms of uh, employers' uh, you know, uh, feedback about our program, uh, I'd like to share with you that Mr. Cole, director of the Singapore Water Academy from PUB, okay, he viewed that our curriculum is going to produce a new generation of the environment engineers who can lead in our continuous journey, journey in transforming Singapore into a more environmentally friendly and livable city. Mr. Chuang, uh, who is a senior specialist from NEA and also IES uh, president, he feel that uh, environment engineering program at NUS will equip its student with knowledge and skill set to be able to work in the sustainability and renewable energy related industry and organization. And we are able to help contribute towards Singapore's sustainability uh, efforts. So with that, I would like to uh, encourage the student to study NUS environmental engineering, join a winning team, make an impact together with us, save the planet. And before I end, I also like to actually make some announcement for the upcoming events. Okay, those are the events going to happen in the coming uh, one week. So, uh, you know, the uh, first event is going to be on 27th February, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. on Zoom platform. And this event uh, have a number of our professors and students in the environment engineering. They are going to talk about saving the planet through the technology and the science. And the second event is going to be on 1st of March, okay, 6 to 7 p.m., also on the uh, Zoom platform. And we have uh, environmental engineering professors going to share with you how to catch the germs in the water and air. So through that, through the very advanced uh, environmental engineering science and technology, we get to know how are we going to control or improve our water quality and air quality as well. So for those students who are interested, scan the QR code, do the registration. I very, I'm very confident that you are going to find very interesting and uh, you know, uh, a lot of like, uh, exciting information about our environment engineering over there. Okay, with that, I come to the end of my sharing. Okay, thanks for your attention. And if you have any questions, I will be very glad to address them during Q&A. Thank you.